So we'll do the next Dhyana Slokam. The Dhyana Slokam, the first Dhyana Slokam we saw how Vyasa is trying to relate the Sattva Guna of this Paramatma where he is in his own understanding. He is cognizing that great Paramatma, the Narayana, is in the milk ocean and he is sitting on a Ratna Simhasana with the Mauti. Mauti is with the pearl studded, fully white color Simhasana and he is sitting on it. And there and there you can see the lagoons in the entire Milky Ocean, which is also filled with a lot of precious gems. So everything is glittering. Ocean is white color. He is sitting on a Simhasana in a white color. And then on the top of him, there is clouds, which is also white color clouds. And they are pouring the milky rain on him. So all this connotes. What, what it connotes is all about the white, the pureness of the white is basically for the sattva guna, the stability, what has been thought, what has been cognized by Vyasacharya. So now Vyasacharya also brings this beautiful slokam of this second sloka, where he is trying to relate the Vishwarupa of the great Narayana. Basically, this slokam was from one of the Sankaracharya's Sishya, whose name is called Todakacharya. He has written a book called Shruti Shara Samudharanam. Shruti Shara Samudharanam. That's the book where the last sloka of that book is basically the next Dhyana sloka, what we are going to think, what we are going to explore. Now, that is what Vyasa has coined here under this Vishnu Sahasrana. What is that? Bhupadho Yashyanabhir Vyada Sura Nila Chandra Surya Chanetre Karna Vasha Shiror Dhyur Mukamabi Dahano Yashya Vasteya Maptihi Antastam Yashya Vishwam Sura Nara Kaka Ko Bogi Kandarva Dhichehi Chit Tram ram ram yethetam trubhavana babusham vishtumisham namami. Excellent sloka given by Chodakacharya talking about the Vishwarupam of Mahavishnu. So previously it was all about Sattvaguna. Now we are talking about the Vishwarupam of Mahavishnu here. So where does they start from? One whose leg is here in the Buhu Padaha. So there are three lokas we say. There are three lokas we say. Three in lokan vyapya bhutatma bhukke vishwa bhuhavyaha. We will also see that word later. Three in loka. So in Vamana Vatara, we, can, we know that he asked for three steps or three foot. Tripadasya, in Purusha Shuktam we say Tripadasya. So he asked for three steps or three feet. So there is a significance of three. What is that? Three is the three loka. Bhuhu, Bhuvaha, Suvaha. Three lokas. Bhulokam, Bhuvaloham, Suvarloham. So now in the Bhulokam, the earth where we are, and he says, the Vishwarupam of Mahavishnu, imagine that you are seeing only the legs in the, the feet is being seen 
എന്ത് ഭൂലോകം ഭൂപാത and then what happens you are only seeing seeing the stretch of pada 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 goes 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 all the way you just lift your head and head and head and head and head if you think there is something called as a sky in the sky you can see yash nabi nabi means his stomach his belly bhu padho yash nabi that's it and after that do you see his head do you see all the hands or anything we don't know where it is you understand the beautiful vishwarupam what he is talking about bhupado yashya nabihi right viyata sura nilaya വിയത സുരാ നില ചന്ദ്രസൂര്യോച്ച നേത്രി ആൻഡ് വാട്ട് ഇസ് ദി ആർ വാട്ട് ഹി ഇസ് ഗിവിംഗ് അസ് ഇസ് ദ പ്രാണ വാട്ട് ഇസ് ഫിൽഡ് വിൻ ദ യൂണിവേഴ്സ് ഇസ് ഹിസ് വായു ഓക്കെ സോ വി ഡോണ്ട് നോ വേർ ദി വേർ ഹിസ് നോസ് ഇസ് വി ഹാവ് നോട്ട് സീൻ ഇറ്റ് remember we are able to see only until his nabi that is his belly until the stomach portion udra we are about that we have not seen we are not able to see because it is so extended it is beyond that imagine like that you can see his leg and the leg is so stretching ah uh, until the where you talk about sky and the sky there you can see only his belly that is his stomach and after that beyond that we don't even see what it is and we we are assuming that prana what he is getting from all the universal air what he is breathing the space the air element which is there it is his prana vayu prana and if there is something like that if there is a body you should have a eye right even though we don't see the eye we are assuming that chandraha suryaha are the two eyes for him surya ne suryachya netre chandra suryai suryachya netre so netram means eyes okay netraha means eyes so you can mark that because if you if you know that these are all the anatomical words of the body parts chandra suryachya netre Karna Vasaha. Karna. Karna means, Karnam means your ears. Karna. Karnam means ears. Karna Vacho. Karna Vacho means the directions, the eight different directions. In, in Sanadana Dharmam, we talk about ten different directions. Okay. So we know eight directions what is given to us. East, West, North, South, North, East, North, West, South, East, South, West. So we know that eight is there. And there is two more directions we also talk about. This is the dimension. Maybe this is the, this is the uh, starting point for geometrical uh, diagrams and all, I think. So that's why most of the connections from Sanadana Dharmam you can see in mathematics and all. so what is that two other two direction upward direction and downward direction so there is two more directions what they say one is upward direction one other is downward direction so that means all together is 10 direction okay 10 direction we know the rama's father by name is dasharatha the speciality of dasharatha is that he can ride the chariot in all this 10 direction dasha ratah means he can ride the chariot in all this 10 direction that's why he is called dasharatha okay so understand so that is one of the significance what he had so he can ride the chariot in all this 10 direction upward also downward also he can ride so that is how the 10th direction are coming see these are the dimensions what we have given so 
karnavasho that means all the directions are his ears shiro shiro what is shiraha his entire space element is shiraha shiram means head shiro dhyaur muham abhi dahano dhyaur muham abhi dahano so muha mukham means your face is glittering like agni the agni deva his face is agni deva his face okay yasya vasteyam aptihi the entire ocean is the water element the entire ocean is his water element in the body <coughs> right yasya vasteyam aptihi teyah teyam teyam means water so yasya vasteyam aptihi so that entire water body water content is nothing but his ocean is the water content whatever you can relate with the water content and the water related to your physiology all are connected to the ocean so this beautifulness see what happens bhupadah yashyanabhir viyadasuni rat chandra suryo uchchanetre karnavasa shiro dhyor muhavavi dahano yashya vasteya mapti in this place in under this excellent expansion of this universe so in that universe who are all residing antastam yasya in that vishwam so his body is entire body is vishwam now his entire body is the universe now you can understand right so this is the projection of the entire vishwam so universe is his body now in this body who are all the people who are residing that's the list of the people who is going to give antastam yasya vishwam in this vishwam sura hai who is sura devas the good element sura hai nara sura nara nara means human sura nara gagha what is gaga gagana marga gagana marga means that which can fly right that which can fly gaha sura nara gaga go go means cow and the cattle not only cow it talks about all the cattle that which can walk in the land bogi beautiful bogi what is that that which uses the stomach to slide and move beautiful right that which uses the stomach to move who who are they reptilians are the all the all the types of these creatures who uses the stomach to move snake a lizard all those who uses their reptilians are the things which use mostly the stomach to move especially with the all the snakes and snakes population like those reptilians right bhogi gandharva gandharvas daityaihi daityaihi who is daitya asuras so many people she has given the list beautifully he has given the list who are they shura nara kakha ko bohi gandharva daityai so he has given all the list of creatures all the list of people right all the list of things have been given sura including devas until asuras he has given the list sura nara gaga bo go bogi gandharva de right so what they are doing chitram ram ram yatetam so they love 
they love living here they enjoy the land what they are they enjoy this land they fill this land they are enjoying they are multiplying with their own population they are surviving with all the resources the resources are nothing but the entire body uh, body of mahavishnu right chitram rambram yatetam so they are so much enjoying these and what they are doing tripu tri bhuvana vabusham they enjoy in this entire world the universe whatever the vishnu has been expanded they are enjoying this entire world and this universe and then to that vishnu who has given the refuge for all these creatures to live in his own in his own body if you assume that it is part of the body of vimha vishnu we are living in the part of his body and who has given the refuge and we are enjoying the life what we are living here is because of him and that vishnu what i am doing vishnu meesham namami to that great lord vishnu i say my salutation it's a beautiful understanding here how we can connect the entire universe to his physiology the entire universe is nothing but his own expressions so this is how we connect so if you take in that urvakam we say that you it go with that type of a form you can understand the mahavishnu is nothing but the expansion of this universe That's why we say sagastra sirisham purusha sagastra chu sagastra pat. That's what the purusha suktam starts. Sagastra sirisham purusha sagastra chu sagastra pat. Right? So it is basically that's how we are looking at it. So even even the Vishnu suktam says sagastra sirisham Vishnu Vishvaksham Vishvasambhavam. so it is also sagastra sirisham vishnu so it's all his expansion this entire universe is only his own expansion his own maya the creation the expansion of this entire universe is only by him and today even in the physics they are saying this universe is still expanding right so we all know that they are saying ever expanding universe so now you can understand how we can correlate that to vamana rupa right so we said in the vamana rupa in the vamana rupa in the vamana avatara they say that when mahabali mahabali is trying to pour a water and then he wants to give the dana of 3 feet of land 3 foot step of land to that small child the moment he is taking and he is putting the water in his hand to give us a dana he can see that mahavishnu is start growing and growing and growing and growing and growing and growing imagine that and the growth is that exponential growth he cannot even imagine then he was stunned and then he was looking at that that uh, that uh, great the form which is expanding and he has seen that we ever expanding so that one person who has seen even the mahabali has seen the vishwarupa of vishnu and the next person who has seen it bhagavad gita arjuna was able to see the vishwarupa darshanam of krishna right he gives the vishwarupa darshan so where he can give that and he shows everything the entire universe under, under him and have very 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 subtly the very subtle way this is this is the greatness of the mothers right very subtle way yashoda was able to see universe in his mouth we all know that he put the mud in his mouth and the krishna and balarama goes and complains right so balarama goes and complains saying that oh this boy has taken you know he has put mud in his mouth and the sad he is eating the sand Yes, so that comes there and says, "So oh, no, 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 no! You should not eat the sand. Open your mouth. Open your mouth. Open your mouth." He is not opening. Just open your mouth. When he opens, he can show all the entire universe in his mouth. So the entire universe in his mouth. Yes, so that got chakkar, and then he fell. She fell down. 
now you understand even in the small mouth he can show the entire universe means understand his own nature we cannot even cognize but we are trying to bring that entire form in the physiological form of entire universe what is the understanding in our sanadana dharma are what the universe you are living it is nothing but the prashadam of that great vishnu to you every day what you are smelling what you are breathing what you are living the food what you are getting the earth where you are standing sitting sleeping everything is his own prashad it is own in his own blessing so understand that with that grace thinking so always be very much surrendered to that great entire supreme consciousness so that is what this is the entire dhyana shloka marthi so the first shloka talks about the sattva guna the second shloka talks about the entirety of the vishnu now comes the third shloka which is a very famous shloka most of you know this shloka by heart okay so everyone any any time if you ask any any child even a child to say this is one of the shloka but they will always chant okay so what is that shantakaram bhujagasayanam padmanabham suresham vishvadharam khakana sadrsham mekhavarnam shubhangam lakshmikantham kamala nayanam yogi hrit dhyanagamyam vande vishnum bhava bhayaharam sarvalokaikhanatam so this is one of the famous dhyana shloka which is always repeated everywhere whenever you go to the vishnu temple they will always chant this so what does it mean so we have seen the vishwarupa we have seen the shantaru we have seen the sattva guna of that so understanding these two what is need to be established in you is nothing but the shanta akara akarartha idi shanta what is akarartha idi shanta that which where the entire peace and calm and the patience has been residing shantam means is here it is about the stability so that which is the embodiment of the stability he is the vishnu so his is the entire akara the entire urva the entire physiology entire form is nothing but shanta shanta akara and how he is bhujaga sayana so there are two ways of interpretation for this one word bhujaga sayanam means bhujaha or bhujam means one way that they say that he is resting his head on this arms okay so he is resting his head on the arms bhujaha another way of saying bhujaha means it is snake bhujaha means also snake what is the snake adi sesha is the snake so understand adi sesha is the snake so what he is doing he is resting on adi sesha right see this, this this is the this is the uniqueness of vishnu when you see the vishnu roopam so he is just lying down like this am i right with with his head and then he is in yoga nidra you can see that his eyes are not closed clo- totally or not open widely he is in the yoga nidra basically we if you want to say in maharishi's word we can say he is in the trance so he is in the form and then he is in this place and then he is just on that shanta akara right and who is sitting at the feet of that great great mahavishnu is the mahalakshmi who is sitting on his feet correct so what does it mean what does it mean that means if you are established in that shanta akara hai if you are established in that shanta akara hai when the stability is there in that mind everything will come to you the name fame popularity money wealth whatever you want will be to you will come to you 
So this is the understanding what you get from this entire slokam. Shanta akaraka bhujaga sayanaha. So sleeping on this snake bed. What is the understanding of sleeping on a snake bed? Snake bed is something like which is not going to be smooth or which is not going to be rough. It will be something like what? Uh, it will be not an easy way of, you know, it will be so much of, uh, we say that it is non-sticky and then, you know, uh, it, it can make you uh, fall down. You understand the reptilian's uh, skins are like that, right? So it will be more like that. So it's more slippery. So the surface is more slippery. So it, it will not make you stable there. But in that, in that, see, so understand, in that, he stabilized in the Shantaka. So this is the greatness. How does it mean? Life is slippery. Life is more slippery. But what you have to establish yourself? Establish yourself the stability, the Shantaka. Right? Establish that Shanta Akaraka and you be in the transcendental, transcendental stage. What happens? Padmanabham Suresham from his Padmanabha. Right? So, from his Nabhi, who was born? There was a lotus. In that lotus, Brahma is there. So, what is the connection? In the stability, Established in the stability, only the creation comes out. You understand? Establishing in the stability only, creation will come out. Creativity will come out. If you are disturbed, no creativity. So stability is the root for many things. So Shantakaraka Bujagasayanam Bhadmanaham Suresham. So he is going to be the Isha of Suraha. Right? Vishwadharam Gagana Sadrsham. Vishwadhara. So he is the person who is Adhara for Vishnu. Uh, uh, Adhara for Vishnu. Okay, so the entire universe is depending on him. He is the center axis. He is the person who gives that stability. That's why he is embodiment of stability. Gagana Sadurshaha, Gaganaha, because even before what, what we saw, Gagaga, Gagha, Gagana, Gagana Marga, Gagana Marga means Akasha. So he is like Akasha. Mekha Varnam Shubangam. What is his color? His color is Mekha Varna. Mekha Varna means dark black. Or you can say blue, Shamavarna, blue or black. It, it's more or less very near. Okay, very near that. Shubha Anga has, so his Angas, he has a beautiful Lakshanas. All those Lakshanas are very good. Shubha Anga. Lakshmi Kantam, what happens? That's what I told you. He is the person who has attracted Lakshmi. Because of this stability, because of his yoga, because of his transcendental level, because he is very stable, what happened? The creation has come, creativity has come. The creator has got his birth from that stability. Now the creator is ready, everyone is ready, every universe is waiting for his command. He has attracted now the wealth and prosperity. You see now, this is the this is the philosophy of understanding the slokam. So you can even attract the wealth and philosophy, wealth in your life. So Lakshmi Kantam, Kamala Nayanam. His eyes are like lotus eyes. Yogi Hrit Dhyana Gamyam. So he is always enjoyed by the yogis. So how do they enjoy the enjoy the form of Vishnu? Because they always think him in their heart. And he is also within the heart of the yogi. Right? So the there are three places. They say that where the God is residing. Beautifully said by Shankaracharya. Ravaye 
three places where he re refers three places where you can always refer to the gods reciting residing place rav ravaye ravaye means sun solar energy vaikunte where in the vaikuntam he is there bhaktanam hridaye so the next place you see that greatest height they are right so we don't know where is vaikuntam we don't know we see sun we don't know within the sun what are all the creatures who, who is there and all those things we have no idea so ravaye vaikunte those two places are totally out of my understanding third place where he refers is bhaktanam hridaye so if you are with the bhakti you can think about him he will reside in your heart so that is what he says yogi hrit dhyana kamyam so he who resides in the yogi's heart vande vishnum bava bayaharam so pray to him do the namaskara to him what he will do vande vishnum bava bayaharam sarva lokaikanatham he can get rid of all the samsara bhaya that's what he says bava bayaharam bava means samsara bhava bava shakara so that which we are in the mundane life what are all the struggles we have and we have all the bhayas for which we are struggling running with no no objectives anything sometimes we don't know why we are running sometimes we don't know what mechanical life we are living all these things right so bhava shakara and bhaya what is happening in you can be hara hara means harati idi hara that means that which can be ward off he can make it go out of go off or get rid of so bhava bhaya hara sarva lokaika natam so he is the one great unique uh, leader who can give that so what is the basic understanding from this entire slokam basic quality what everyone has to establish is establish that shanta calmness and peace will take you to mind this is a very important element what we need to know all right so next one which says meha shyamam this is about his his external physical features that they are trying to give some understanding on that meha shyamam so his body is color of meha meha means the clouds so rain so the rainy clouds what you can see the dark clouds meha shyamah pita kausheya vasam pitah pitah means that which is yellow color pitam means yellow kausheya vasam so he is he is wearing that yellow color silk cloth okay yellow color silk cloth so meha shyamam pita kausheya vasam so he is wearing that yellow color silk cloth previously what when he talked about shiro then what he was talking about white color cloth now comes the yellow color cloth what is the difference between these two because previously it was in that purna purna stage where you are trying to understand the satvik guna once the satvik and shanta guna has come now we are understanding him as for this entire universe when we are now we want him to be like a guru lo is for guru okay lo color is more suitable for guru so now what is happening so he becomes as a guru so that's why we are talking about he is wearing an yellow color meka shyamam pita kausheya vasam so he is wearing that yellow color that means he is now guru in the stage of guru srivat sangam kaustubod bhashitangam so he has a he has a mole in his heart which is called srivat okay srivat sam means it is one of the mole what he had in his in his uh, chest okay and also he is also wearing one of the great gem okay one of the great gem which is called kaustubham 
one of the great gem what he is wearing is kaustubam okay and this kaustubam is also in his in his chest so he has a mole in the chest and also he is also having the kaustubam in his chest and that kaustubam is like a precious gem which is glittering okay so understand now his color is dark megha shyamah or we can say a little bit of a dark uh, uh, blue color right megha shyamah pita kauseya vasa he is wearing the the, the golden uh, he is wearing the yellow color silk cloth he is wearing in his uh, waist and then he has a mole which you can see prominently that's called sri vatsam and also he is wearing one of the uh, ornament which is made up of that gem but is called as kaustubam bashitangam punyo bhedam pundari kayadaksham vishnum bande sarvalokaikanatham one who has done greatest punya can understand this type of his physio- physical form can cognize can go near to him okay punyo bhedam pundari khayadaksham so you can understand now his form so now by seeing his form what we are understanding you are like my yoga guru you are like my jagat guru so you are going to teach me the thing what i have to how i have to live how how i need to lead my life everything so as a guru we are getting the entire knowledge and gnana from him right so srivat sangam kaustubod pasitangam punyo bhedam so he will teach you what is the gnana what we want and how because we should have the punya to go near to him pundari khaya daksham pundari kham means also lotus pundari kha means lotus okay pundarika is also lotus kamala is lotus understand kamala lotus pankaja lotus pundarika aksh lotus pundarikam lotus so many words are there for one for the lotus so pundarika yadaksham vishnum bandhe sarvalokaikana so he is the vishnu murti to to whom my salutation goes right namas samasta bhutana the next one namas samasta bhutana aadhi bhudhaya bhuvrate aneka roopa roopaya vishnave prabha vishnave namas samasta bhutana all the bhutas that which is created all the bhutas the five elements what we talking about right all the five great elements which have been formed should have a raw material am i right this five elements cannot be formed by itself it should have got a raw material what is that raw material there is a mula prakriti where is the mula prakriti that mula prakriti is nothing but vishnu murti so that's why he say namas samasta bhutanam all the bhutas to whom who is he he is the adi bhuta he is the first bhuta primary bhuta the first raw material who prate so he has to he as the person who has created this entire universe aneka roopa roopaya and then what happened he filled in this entire universe with the different roopas oh my god this is beautiful understanding what you need to know this is the greatness of the god okay this is the greatness of the god i am just rem- reminded of a beautiful uh, verse which is written in tamil by the poet called kambar i will recite the tamil verse then i will explain you what is the meaning ulaham yavayam tamula vaakkalam நிலை பெருக்களும் நீக்களும் நீங்கிலா அழகிலா விளையாட்டுடையான் வாட் இஸ் திஸ் உலகம் யாவையும் தாமுள வாக்களும் தயர் யூனிவர்ஸ் இஸ் பில்ட் வித் ஹிம் ஹி வில் மேக் ஷுர் நத்திங் இஸ் அவுட் ஆஃப் இஸ் பர்வியூ 
and everything is under his control and everywhere you can see his own rupam aneka rupa rupaya nilai virkalum so beautiful word of definition here this is given by kambar this definition goes aptly with the god he never said this form that form nothing this is one of the dhyana shloka what he has made for the ramayana nilai virkalum that means he knows how to expand it nilai perukalum perukalum means multiplying it so multiplying this universe into universe universe into universe universe into universe exponential form whatever you say geometrical progression whatever progression you may put it in the mathematical notation exponential notation you can think about nilai perukalum means it is going infinite exp- uh, expansion neekalum he also knows how to delete it beautiful right so he knows how to delete it or how to get out of it both are correct he knows how to get out of it he knows how to delete it the entire universe can be one day closed nilai perukalum neekalum neengila all these things how he is doing that's what the kambar reminds us alahila vilayat tudayan are he is doing like a play he is playfully doing all these things. He is not very serious about it. Come on, chalo. let us do this. As a play, let us go and enjoy. So I create this universe. I be, I fill myself in this universe. I know how to delete myself in the universe. I know how to delete an entire universe. I will make it shrun, shrink into it and then close it. So everything I will do like a play. I enjoy doing this. So if this is the understanding of a definition of a God, that is how this is also going very clearly here namas samasta bhutanam so entire bhuta what is created that is the raw material for that mola prakriti he is the raw material and what he has done aneka roopa roopaya so he filled with the entire universe with his own creation and he was entirely filled in every universe part and then vishnuve prabha vishnuve so you are filled everywhere i don't see anything out of you that means your entire chintana has become such that you are seeing only focusing only him everywhere right so beautiful understanding of mahavishnu here sasanga chakram next one sasanga chakram sakirita kundalam sapita vastram sarasiru vekshanam sahara vachastala stobi kaustubham namami vishnum sirasa chaturbhujam so these are all his external features what we are talking about here sasanga chakram so he has a sangha chakra sa kirita kundalam he has a kiritam kiritam means the the crown he is having kundalam kundalam is what he is wearing the earring you know sa pida vastram here also we are talking about the yellow color vastra vastram which he is wearing in his waist sarasi ruhekshanam see sarasi hi is also another word for lotus sarasi ruhekshanam his eyes are like lotus eyes sahara vachastalam he has so many haras haram means the garlands he is wearing so many garlands on his neck stobi kaustubam and already i told you there is a gem what is called kaustubam in his chest namami vishnum sirasa chaturbhujam so to whom i am just bowing myself i am surrendering myself so i am going to bow my head right chayayam phaljadasya hema singhasanopari aasinamam budashyamam ayadaksham alankaram சந்திரானனம் சதுர்பாகும் ஸ்ரீவத் சாங்கித வட்சசம் ருக்மிணி சத்தியபாமாபியாம் சகிதம் கிருஷ்ணமாஸ்ரய திஸ் இஸ் ஹவு இட்ஸ் ஃபினிஷிங் லெட் அஸ் சி தீஸ் டூ வேர்ட்ஸ் அண்ட் அண்டர்ஸ்டாண்ட் சாயாயாம் பாரிஜாதஸ் ஸோ தர் இஸ் அ ட்ரீ கால் பாரிஜாத ட்ரீ தட் விச் கிவ்ஸ் யூ லாட் ஆஃப் பூன்ஸ் அண்ட் பெஸ்டோஸ் யூ லாட் ஆஃப் திங் திஸ் திஸ் பாரிஜாதா tree is one of the gift in the indra loka and in that shadow the shadow of the tree 
Chayayam. Chayaha means shadow of that Parijata tree. And he is sitting in Hema Singhasano Peri. Now he is sitting in Hema Hemaha. Hema means gold. Hema Singhasano Peri. He is sitting on the golden throne. All right. Asinamam Mudashyamam Ayadaksham Alankritam. And what is he doing? He is sitting there, Asinamam Mudashyamam. So his body, still that same uh, dark blue color. And his eyes are big. Ayadaksham Alankritam. His eyes are very big. Right? And through which he, are, he is seeing all his devotees. Chandrananam Chaturbahum. So his face is like Chandra. Sri Vatsangida Vakshasam. So we, I told you there is a own mole what he has in his chest is called Sri Vatsam. And he is sitting with whom? Rukmini Satyabhama Abhyam. So on both the sides there are Rukmini and Satyabhama who is sitting near to them. Sakitam Krishnam Ashraye. So he is sitting, Krishna is sitting with Rukmini Satyabhama. And then he is giving us the blessing. He is giving the bestowing all the blessings. So this is the form. So now you can see that Vyasa, where he starts, he talked. He started from the uh, from that greatest sattva guna. So mula prakriti sattva guna, and then he talked about Vishwarupa. He talked about Shanta. See all these things. So the layers where he brings out, and then he talked about the physical form. Right, he's talked about the physical form, and even in the physical form, he, ta he told that he is the primordial, that the primary raw material, and then he filled the entire universe with his own form, and then he gave the beautiful physical feature, and within the feature, where he is saying all these forms, what we are talking about is nothing but who he is the Krishna who is sitting on the throne here with along with the Satyabhama, Rukmini Satyabhama. So that is the person, that is the individual, that is the Paramatma whom I am referring, whom I am doing the Dhyana. So it is very clear Vyasa does his Dhyanam for Sri Krishna Bhagavan. So with that, I stop here. Kayena vacha manatendriyarva budhyatmanava prakriti subhavat karomi atyat sakalam parasme narayanayeti samarpayami Yadakshara pata prashtam matra hinam to yad bhave tapsharvam sham miradeva nara yiranamos to them. Vishar gabindu matrani pata vata ksharanicha. Nunani chati riktani cham misha purushotama. Anyada charanam nastit pome vacharanam mama. Tasmat karunya bhavena retcharachajanar dana. Hari hi om tatsat. It is Sri Ramakrishna arpanamastu swastip prajabya parivala yantam. Nyayena Margena Mahim Mahisham, Ko Brahmane Bisubamastu Nityam, Samasta Loka, Kino Bavantu, Samasta Loka, Sukino Bavantu, Samasta Loka, Sukino Bavantu.